Welcome to Overdrive AF, the official podcast of Overdrive Fitness. My name is Teddy Gerzon, and I'm joined with Gina Marie Gerzon. Hello, everybody. As always, Destroyer. What's up? And we have Titan and Brajol here today. All right, so uh, quick environmental review. It's um, kind of gloomy. It was supposed to rain earlier. It did not, so we're grateful for that. Um, just because uh, that like would that would that would have ruined our our workouts with the uh, adults, with the warriors and athletes this morning. So grateful that didn't happen. Um, where else? Sorry. So it's December twelfth, and then uh, twelfth. No, I was just, I was just thinking ahead for a second. So oh. I was trying to plan like it was like when this episode drops. So uh, oh. what would that be? 14. December 15th by the time this drops, right? Yeah. Which would put us 10 days away from Christmas. But uh, this is uh, technically a monumental episode as it's our 52nd episode, Ooh. right? Yeah. Yeah, Holy so uh, we've been doing this for a full fucking year. Mm-hmm. This has been putting up with our yeah. silly, silly, crazy, I don't even know what to call it, <laughs> for a year. Shenanigans. <laughs> what a year to have started it with. And it was just, this was all just an idea until, uh, until I got a, was it a DM or a text from you? I think I texted you. You're like, hey. This is better than DM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, hey, uh, I know this is kind of weird, but, uh, could I help you run your podcast? I was like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You're like, all right, not to be a dick, but can I, like, get paid a little bit? I was like, fuck yeah, you can. I was like, I'm not trying to spend my time doing this shit. <laughs> It's like those of you who don't know, like if I mean, if you ever tried to put together a podcast or anything, like you know, there, there's a lot of behind the scenes work that goes into it, and uh, albeit that some of it, if you want, even want to say it's easy, it, it may or may not be depending on the individual, but um, it is time consuming. So you know, level of difficulty can always vary, but I mean, like time doesn't go anywhere; it's always a constant. So you know, once it's spent, you can't get it back, right? So uh, that's it's just not something I was willing to invest my time into. Yeah. But fruits of your labor, there it was. very well worth it, or well yeah. worth it, and appreciated. Absolutely. Yeah, I just felt weird being like, it's the first time we've talked in a while. Can I have money? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, it's a form of compensation, so you always yeah. got to think of it that way. Yeah. You know. But it was a lifesaver, honestly. I just graduated RCC and was looking for a job that was like halfway relevant. There you go. It's an energy exchange, though. Like I like to call yeah. it like that. You're, it's a give and a take. It's it's a good thing, though. It's you know, it's that ebb and flow. Like For that's sure. where the good stuff is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, here we are, fifty second episode, um, and as uh, Gina was already alluding to, that it definitely is December twelfth. It is also our twelfth year together. Um, so yeah, we've been uh, boyfriend and girlfriend for about 12 years now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Made it, made it happen. You haven't run away yet. We've been bingling. Uh huh. For I'm like your shadow. Now. You can't outrun me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, you know, given the, the current capacity restrictions, uh, it has been packed at that capacity restriction here at overdrive just a lot of motivated individuals here mm-hmm. um of all ages you know between athletes and warriors um you know looking to get in shape or even just you know better sports performance whatever whatever it may be um lose some muscle mm-hmm. lose some body fat uh stay focused yes. um clear their head release some stress all with a lot of laughter lately. Oh my god! There's I feel been like a we've been ton of laughter. So much fun. I mean, mm-hmm. great music. I've been dancing a lot. Yeah, that's we've added been, to the laughter. Some singing's been in, you know, involved in the workouts. Mm-hmm. Brandy Seltzer, we can we can call her out for that. Um, there's been some, yeah, some duets going on with you and David. Uh, We're rehearsing. Yeah, <laughs> for I mean, Christmas pageant. Yeah, exactly. Because we were both. Like we both have experience with guys and dolls, so you know David and I just you know in our respected high schools were 
the stars of our plays. So let's just put it that way. And it helps with you know your your lung capacity too while you're you're you know you're you're singing and you're training at the same mm -hmm. time. So it also helps to be a good singer, <laughs> which I am not. So you know, but uh, hey, can't please everybody. They're just not ready for it. That's all. But um, yeah. Awesome. Um, we are about to head into the third and final week of the 21-day overdrive method challenge. Mm -hmm. Very eye-opening for a lot of people. A lot of people crushed the first week. All right. Um, we're about to, by the time this episode airs, we would have just wrapped up the second weigh-in. But, you know, even at the first one and leading and uh, going through this entire week, um, a lot of people realized they were grossly under-eating, which we predicted would we would um, mm -hmm. find out. And, uh, you know, and everyone lost a lot already, you know, especially even after the first one. Yeah, and not only grossly under eating, but the fact that um, um, they've been able to incorporate a lot of really delicious foods. Mm -hmm. And I know Desi's going to get into that too. Um, but, you know, all different types of delicious foods and uh, carbs are, are one of those categories of foods that I think people were so against just from society standpoint and all these crazy diets and crazy fads going around like you can't eat carbs carbs are bad for you carbs are the devil <laughs> um, people have been able to really incorporate a lot of their favorite foods and a lot of um, just different types of foods and still hit hit their goals every week um, and feel really good and lose body fat and and lose some weight or even gain some weight gain some muscle and and, and body fat continues to go down. So transformations are really happening. Um, people are feeling really good. They're starting to sleep better. Um, they're, they're feeling it 100%, you know? Um, they're having more energy through the day. They're not hitting those slumps like they normally would, like two, three o'clock or crash at the end of the night. Um, they're, they're sleeping more soundly. They're enjoying their food. Mm -hmm. They're eating more frequently. These are all, like, check these things off the list because, and they're eating so much food and still losing. Yeah. I think in comparison to what they had done in the past. Mm-hmm. You know? So, we see it job, in everybody. They're, they're so energized in here now. It's just, not that they weren't before, but oh they God. have even more energy. So, that's that's amazing. And uh, it's just, it, it just cracks me up, like, his how many people grossly under ate on carbs out of fear. I mean, let, let's just put it this way. Let's, let's. Let's just, to help you understand how ridiculous it is, you know, for people that fear carbs, but don't fear any amount of alcohol out there, right? No one got a DWI from eating a six ounce uh, sweet potato, all right? Three times a day. So, so like, I mean, like, your, your level of fear in comparison to, like, what you actually should and should not be putting into your body and consuming is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Like people will be like, Oh, I can't, I can't eat all that bread and pasta. You know, it's going to get me fat. It's like, okay, but like what's stopping you from drinking three bottles of wine every Friday night. And, and there's not, it's not like that didn't that, get you fat, right? That you can't have that glass of wine or um, if you want to have um, one beer, or, you know, there's, there's benefits to everything. There's, one beer at a time, you mean? Well, there's aspects, healthy aspects to everything. Um, I mean, I know there's some studies out there, too, that sh red wine shows really good really good potential on the gut health. So, I mean, even with clients that have maybe some inflammatory issues, I'll, you know, if you like having that glass of red wine, it's good for you. Have it, you know, with your dinner or whatever. Yeah. Um, those kind of things. But I think it's, it's more about balance and... There should be no fear of any type of food. Exactly. Um, you know, we should just, you know, feel good about, get, oh, I want to have this or I want to have that. Okay, so how can we moderate? Yeah, and uh, I mean, my point was even just, like, not even worrying about balance, but just get the fucking shit out of your head that you should fear carbs, but, like, you have zero emotion towards alcohol. Like, nope, can't live my life without alcohol. It's like, well, you really actually can't live without carbs, and guess what is in most alcohol? fucking carbs right unless you're drinking fucking rubbing alcohol so um uh, i it's, just it's don't what even happens understand. inside your body too that that um it's so irrational your body just the will thought. use that that um 
that ethanol, the, the, the main component, first. And then what ends up happening is your body works so hard at um, getting rid of those calories and utilizing it for energy that everything else that you ate along with that is kind of just sitting there. So I'd rather use my food as energy. <laughs> I mean, you know, but whatever. Yeah. Like, That's my take on it. <laughs> no one got sent to rehab on a court order because they ate too much pizza. Right? So just yeah. like, just, I, I can't hit home enough that stop looking for excuses to have your alcohol in your diet and stop using bullshit fucking myths as to why you can't incorporate carbs into your diet. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be a lot happier. How do we know that? Because we've been doing it for fucking years and we're not the first ones to, to have done it. Plenty of people have done it before us. All right. A lot of people do it now. And we also have currently uh, over a dozen more people that got we got to buy into it recently with like little coercion into it. Is that a word? Yeah, I think so. Trusting the process, just you know, kind <laughs> of like following the guidelines and just some basic guidelines. Mm -hmm. So, speaking of, uh, um, you know, nutrition and, you know, people just, uh, even just buying in or whatever, I mean, what, we got we to gotta get right to Destroyer. Um, but yeah. first, we got to start with the important mileage covered and quality of jump shot this week. I got a few, few shots up while walking Bonnie in the backyard. Nice. It wasn't quite as, as rusty as I was anticipating, so that was good. The mileage is down, but that's in conjunction with, you know, all the workout stuff I've been doing to, to help my, uh, I believe it's eight week transformation goal. Well, we're going to do whatever yeah. you want. So eight weeks it's like, to start. yes. So we're going to, we're going to kind of yeah. go with the flow. So, so, so I far I'm, I'm, I'm getting in, you know, about 12 miles a week. So but I'm really thinking good. of on like the weekends, maybe adding in like a, a nice four mile like cool down or something like that. So it's still still more than most people run, I guess. It's so. great, but now you're doing two things. So you're not just getting yeah. running in, you're getting all yeah. of the remote workouts in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Which have been really good. Some sweat workouts and the strength stuff, yeah. right? Adding to the LBM. Yeah, it's great. Balancing it all out. It's been very good. And then, um, I mean, let's, if we pull... Yeah, I, I surprised myself with how well the numbers were after just yeah, one let's, week. Yeah, let's pull yours up, Des, for a moment. Yeah. And let's just... And this was after eating a lot for all the people <laughs> out there. Let's see what we got here. So, we're down from... We had our, we'll have our second weigh-in on Monday, and yeah. today's Saturday, so... 1.4 pounds down and 1.7% body fat down. Is yep. Yeah. Yep. That's it. That's what about the fat mass? And then body measurements. Oh, biometrics. Sorry. And body fat mass is down three. Almost a two point. No. Almost three full pounds. Yeah. Almost yeah. three full pounds. So the point is, is that, okay, there was a little bit of body weight lost, but so if we think about that, could that have been a fluid exchange? Like, yes, that happens, um, but but fat mass is down, and yeah. body fat percentage is down. LBM. And, yeah, and LBM. I, thank you, here. So we're up 1.4 pounds, so there's your three pounds right there. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's only one week. That was one that, week. The first week. Yeah. yeah. And the night before the weigh in, I had two turkey burgers for dinner. <laughs> so. Nice. Only two. And you're yeah. hitting your calories. Let's talk about that for a second. Yeah. I mean, it's, we were talking about this a little bit before that at first I was a little nervous about like how much I could actually eat or what I could actually eat. But I learned pretty quickly that you can work in a lot of stuff if you just like go about it correctly yeah like at the end of the first week of it my dad made donut bread pudding mm. and i was like you're you motherfucker you're just trying to do this to tempt me mm -hmm. and but then like i figured out that like if i just 
balance what I'm having for lunch and dinner, that I could have a bowl of that with ice cream and still hit every goal that I had. Awesome. I worked back in pizza yesterday. You know, I went I went with margarita because it's lower on fat, but Woo! it's still... It just sounds good. sexy. But it's like yeah. simple and delicious. Yeah, it was great. And every I'm a big nighttime snacker. So before I was doing like I'd have Oreos and a glass of milk or something like that. Yeah. And but now I mean that stuff's a little higher on fat, but now that actually isn't enough calories. Mm-hmm. So I've been working in pretty much every night a healthy milkshake and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every single night, which is like it feels even more indulgent. That's awesome. Cookies, so. mm-hmm. Damn, I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you know, I was thinking of putting those solid. back into my, my diet yeah. recently. And how are you feeling from, like, right before we started to, say, like, a day or a week's worth of food into now what you're eating now? Um, I'm feeling really good. I mean, in terms of just eating, you know, I have to maybe pay a little bit more attention to exactly what it is that I'm eating. Okay. But I'm eating way more. And it feels like stuff that I should have been paying attention to before anyway. This is awesome. And it's also just like, it's kind of fun. Like, I'm eating way more meat than I was. <laughs> like, I'm eating like two pieces of chicken and like turkey and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Every we're growing, day, which I we're wasn't growing getting mass, in. guys. Yeah. Come on now. So, and then I'm just like feeling better in general. Just awesome. like less pain, sleeping better every night. So this is really good, Desi. It's going well. Better tell Aiden you better watch himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when we finally can play pickup again when it's not in the cold, I'm going to be yoked and ready to heave it from half court. Knock him, knock him down. What's my name? <laughs> yeah. Work on them in the post. Yeah, go hard in the paint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for good sure. for everybody to hear, Desi. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and it hasn't it hasn't been a particularly hard transition. So oh I my think God. That, that's that's a big man. Yeah. Is that it's like a severe And life you're still change. eating all food that you like, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you don't feel restricted in Even any more way. more foods that I thought that I couldn't have that I did like before. I even worked in like a pizza burger the other day. Awesome. I'm going, I'm going wild. But, nice. <laughs> but within reason. This is good. You still get the tastes of everything. You can, st- you still feel really satisfied. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're not. It's feeling, awesome. You're feeling good in your workouts and stuff. Yeah. This is great. Awesome. Highly recommend. I love it. Which is up. Yeah. Yoked. <laughs> So, right, yeah, um, no, I'm just trying to think if there's anything I wanted to add to that or ask, but, um, no, I mean, like, energy levels, how would you say that is? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm not a, mo- I'm not a huge morning guy, so, like, a lot of the time I would wake up early and then be like, oh, I'm definitely going to need a nap when I get home or, like, a nap later, but pretty much once I'm up, I'm up now which is like a pretty significant change so i think energy levels on the whole improved pretty well awesome and i think it's um it's important for everybody to to hear that um the training that you're doing is remotely through the app yeah and you're still getting it all done you don't feel like you can't get things i mean we can always buy more weights we can always get as we get stronger and stuff but you're getting everything done, whether it's a sweat workout or a strength yeah. workout, right? Yeah. And we're and still it, hitting our goals. it's all stuff that can be done, you know, like, it's definitely, I'm going to get heavier weights because my personal goal is to get stronger. Yeah. But it's all stuff that can be done even with, like, super minimal equipment. Like, it's, mm-hmm. it's super doable mm-hmm. stuff. I haven't been, like, like stressed, like, how am I going to do this one? Right. Like, you're still like feeling that. like you could modify something if you need to yeah. or okay, um, I can still do this exercise, but maybe I'll add more reps in or something for right now. You yeah. know, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, I've added in, like, extra rounds to certain things or done certain things slower. Excellent. See, that's, so, that's yeah, it. It's very adaptable. That is it. 
simple mm -hmm. yet successful. Overdrive yep. app is working. Boom. Boom. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, can't remember what else I was gonna add, but no, that's that's great. I mean, people need to hear that. Yeah. So um, you know, it's uh, definitely looking forward to talking about this every week. Yeah. Um, Then I mean we're gonna have to add uh we have to contact your manager, your agent. You know, I mean like yeah, how are you gonna split your time between the Brooklyn Nets and contract. my modeling agency? Yeah. Um, I mean you somebody's contract. gotta do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh this week's uh fat myth that we're we're busting, fat loss myth, weight loss myth is uh the myth that uh, high protein, low carb diets are best. Um, why don't you take that away? And I'm going to reverse the fan real quick. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, I think um, when we talk about anything that's highly restrictive, I think um, we're already talking about um, people falling off the wagon right away and people not sticking to. Um, not sticking to the plan pretty much I, I think uh, Desi uh, it explained it really well the fact that we uh, we work towards a goal uh, we can still eat all the foods that we like enjoy them eat a lot of it and still um, continue to transform our bodies and get stronger um, I think that all of all of the macronutrients, so proteins, carbs, and fats are all extremely important in our day-to-day, -day, depending upon our goals, um, you know, genetics, age, uh, stress level, and, and all those other things that kind of come into play. Um, different variations um, and percentages of each of those types of foods, uh, it's very individual as per the person, um, but each of those macronutrients are essential to um, success. I think when you start to eliminate one or more of those things, uh, bad things could happen. Um, when we start talking about, you know, uh, low carb, no carb, uh, high fat, um, even low protein or just high protein and low everything else, um, your body has to do a lot of different things. Um, and most of the time it ends up sabotaging um, the person in, on the back end. Um, and then the goal, instead of it becoming a goal, it becomes a nightmare. Um, I think that the point is, is to get a nice distribution of all three of those things um, to be successful. So when we start to deprive ourselves of things, so it's kind of like, well, kind of like when maybe when uh, we were bad and then our parents went, okay, well now you don't get to do this for a week or, you know, take your phone away for the week or no Netflix for the week or you try to figure out some sort of way to fit it in somehow, sneak it. So when we're depriving ourselves of all of those delicious foods and they could be very healthy and nutritious too, I'm not just talking about the ice cream and the pizza, you know, and the bagels and the donuts and things like that. We can always fit those things in when you're doing things properly, but it's even the apples and the oranges and um, the sweet potatoes and the oatmeal and, you know, rice and uh, things like bananas and things like that, like things, cereals and things that taste really, really good and are actually really healthy for you and do a lot of really good things for your body. When we start to eliminate those, okay, so your body's going to tell you, oh my God, I am craving the crap out of whatever. You're going to figure out a way to get it back in your system somehow. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll go back on my diet on Monday or, oh, I'll just... I'll eat this bowl of cereal and it's going to go one bowl and two bowls and three bowls and before you know it you're, you're through the whole box of cereal and you're like oh my god what did I just do I just effed myself I'll mm -hmm. start my diet back up on Monday and you're in a vicious cycle again there's no reason why you need to do any sort of crazy thing like that um, and we can help you with those things just by allowing you to understand how to guide yourself um and, you know, just being accountable for maintaining those really good habits and enjoying all the foods that you're eating. Uh, and, and besides the fact that, um, Desi and I were talking about this too, how many clients that I've heard, 
oh, I tried the keto diet or I tried uh, no carbs for a while and I got blood work done and oh my God, my doctor <laughs> said my blood work <laughs> was horrible. <laughs> my cholesterol was through the roof. My, my triglycerides were through the roof. You know, like that kind of thing. I was feeling really crappy. I had no energy. You know, like, yeah, I lost some weight, but like, I, like, I don't feel good in my body. Like, those are all things that you don't want to hear, and you, you know, you that you don't want to feel. You want to feel really good in your body. You want to feel like your clothes are getting loose, and you need to buy something smaller, or you're, you want to feel really uh, energetic through your training. And when you start logging. And you're, when you're using your Overdrive Fitness app, logging all of your your sets and your reps, you're like, holy crap! I did wow! I did 20 more pounds this week than I did last week. That's awesome! Like things like that. Like you want to see all the good stuff for yourself because you're eating all these really good things. Everything in moderation. Mm-hmm. When you start restricting yourself, your brain will sabotage you. Your brain will naturally revert back to what is going to make me happy you know so it's better to follow the plan and get all those delicious foods in in moderation don't restrict yourself don't restrict yourself yeah it's a, I, mean, I don't know I just feel like it, it, even just in general maybe it's just this country or it's a human behavior but it, it's, it seems like people want to go do like you know whatever is the fad the latest fad or the most extreme thing to to get what should be like the simplest thing done sometimes you know so it's just like uh, even from from a fitness standpoint all right so it's like this like all right i have 20 grams of protein left and i could just make a shake but instead i'm going to make it a protein pudding so i'm going to sit there and just like mix up just a little bit of water and stir it up until it's actually something i i, I think is delicious it's like we you could have just put some fucking almond milk or water in a shaker, throw the scoop in there, shake it up, mm-hmm. drink it. I mean, it's going to be the same caloric content regardless. And instead of convincing yourself that it's a fucking pudding that actually is delicious, it could have been just a regular shake. You could have moved on with your day. Like, I, I just don't get how it is. Or, like, you know, you know I'm just going to go high, high protein, low carb because it's the best yeah. from what I heard. Like, why? The thing is, is just when, eat. When we start to... Um when we start to eliminate things or restrict ourselves from specific nutrients and every type of food, your protein, your carbohydrates, and your fats, all do some really good things in within your body. Um, so especially when we're training this way, so whether you guys are used to going out for a nice fast run, um, some speed work outside, or if you're strength training, barbells, dumbbells, resistance bands, you're moving quickly, um, you're working for reps, or you're working for power, or whatever the case. You need those um, those different types of foods to help you function at your best. And when we start to eliminate those things, um, your your body ends up making you pay for it. Um, when you're feeling crappy, um, your breath can start to get really bad. Um, your immune system starts to, um, you know slow down a little bit and um, actually become compromised because you're not getting those nutrients. Um, we're not getting enough protein. We can start to bruise really easy. Um, we can become very moody, uh, irritable, not sleep well. Like carbohydrates, you, you fatigue very quickly. Um, muscle tissue starts to atrophy. You start to use muscle tissue as energy because we don't have the necessary energy within the tissue to, to pull from. Um, there's a lot of really crazy stuff that can happen that you start to feel it. Um, different hormones shut down, like they they slow down. Your body starts to slow all of these organs down and just give energy to what's most important, like just your brain, your heart, and your lungs. And everything else is like, oh, I'm just gonna chill for a bit, I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> so we wanna run efficiently like a performance car, right? So when you put in the right gas, then we run well. When we put in the wrong gas or when we put in just we're kind of just like dropping stuff in I mean we're not going to run efficiently um, and your body composition will will suffer for it but what you you won't like what you see in the mirror um, if we just we, your body ends up suffering and and um, when we the, the best way that we can do our job too is to get all of our members 
um, and our athletes to really um, trust the process and they have to be comfortable in trusting the process and um, feeling good about getting all those different types of foods in too because at the end of the day um, with our athletes we see it firsthand and, and even with our adult members too we see it firsthand when you know we get the the data from the in body and not just that but we get all the data from them whether they're, they're starting to sleep better they feel like they have more energy from the minute they get up through the day um, they're really enjoying all their foods um, they feel like the brain fog is going away or it's eliminated um, uh, they're feeling stronger in their workouts they're kind of more even keel like the moodiness is gone or it's lessened they're feeling less stress um, dependent upon what they do you know within the day um, there's so many great things that maybe inflammation has ceased or has lessened um, joints are aching less maybe they're a little sore from their workouts but like these are all huge checks that we have to you know go right down the list and check them off um, that's the benefit of eating this way mm -hmm. and and not not eliminating um, anything bone health increases like maintenance you know you get um, back from the doctor all oh, I've been off my blood pressure medication for over a year now this is awesome or my bone scan came back. Um, my doctor's really happy with, I've been able to maintain my bone density. Like it, women in their 50s and 60s and 40s even, like whatever, like men too, you know? These are big, big things because falls increase 5% every year after I think age 50. So it's like that percentage, right? For men mm -hmm. and women. I mean, the list goes on and on. But yeah. No, just just getting the balance. I mean, it's really that simple. Yeah. Uh, don't overcomplicate things. You know, and just I don't even know what else to add. Just do it. I mean, it's uh, it's it's just mind-boggling to me the the things that people will do just to quote unquote get in shape or lose weight. You know, I mean, if just losing the scale weight's look what you're looking for, fine. But like, how are you, how are you under the surface, like? You know, oftentimes, like you said, the blood work will come back and people are fucked. So, you know, remember, it's it's a lot more than just a scale weight, and it's a lot more than just cutting out an entire food group. You don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you want to be healthy overall, like not only just by the scale, but make sure you have a lot of lean mass. You're not carrying a lot of fat mass. You're mentally sane. You know, you're not obsessed with any given thing of health and fitness whether it be you know making sure that you're having exactly six ounces of chicken and not 6.1 or 5.9 uh you know if you don't get a specific workout done in a specific day knowing that you, know, you can make it up another time or day or if you can only get 15 minutes in for that day and then that's fine you know it's just i don't know it just cracks me up it just cracks me up that w what people would do just to achieve the body they're looking for you know so just be smart about it you know Mm -hmm. um, and it takes time and you know just understand that every day is a day closer to your goal and if we're not there yet at the maybe the time frame within that time frame then there's always a way we can keep moving forward um, but never lose sight and just balance is so so important nutrients at the end of the day it's how are you going to run most efficiently so only continue to restrict ourselves and eliminate things you're actually eliminating nutrients and I know not everybody is a supplement person but when we are under with these you know within these days and times where it's been maybe much more stressful than the norm of what we're used to getting in all these different types of foods is so much more important um, and that variety is so much more important than even before so eliminating those things um, puts that much more pressure on your body to perform on a daily basis just to be able to, for your brain to function and your heart to pump and your lungs to get the oxygen in and transport it um, things like that so basic needs right mm -hmm. so yeah um, I mean I have nothing else to add to this okay I think we covered it yeah it's I mean and I think Desi did a great job too with explaining it. all of 
it, it's pretty basic, which is what people should need. They should keep everything down to just friggin' basics, you know. Keeping it simple. Mhm. Without the use of coffee enemas. So. <laughs> um. Anything else to add this week? Anything we didn't cover? Um. um no, I uh I, I gave a shout out to several of our weekday warriors um really focused and like all in on their nutrition and training whether they're remote or in person um uh brandy seltzer david seltzer uh rich matt cj mason denise christensen jeff shalom um who else uh i think i mean that handful i mean they've just been rocking and rolling uh, really focused um, let alone all the people in the transformation challenge but these are people that I've been working with for some time now and they're so zoned in um, and they're eating very well they're training really smart like smart training they're pushing themselves they're um, they're they're listening to their bodies and uh, they're very happy with their results too, and 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 we're and we're only continuing to move forward. So, I think they are testaments to, um, you know, combining that trusting the process and really combining that nice amount of training with their nutrition as per their goal. Because I have some clients who are putting on some size and focusing on strictly mass, and um, other clients who are still focusing on you know gaining lean mass and cutting body fat and all of those things are happening so yeah props to all those guys and girls two athletes i forgot to shout out gabby what about gabby she was in one of the two i was thinking of oh i'm sorry no she's, so go she's ahead. one of what the about other gabby? athletes that's oh. been on in her nutrition too right and her True. training i'm sorry go ahead no so uh hk yes Elena Kazmarsik, she's yes. an eighth grader that we train, that trains at Overdrive. Yes. Um, she is the uh, varsity goalkeeper for Tappan Zee High School soccer, yes. girls soccer. And uh, she was recently named uh, All-County Honorable Mention. So that was great, especially considering, um, you know, the given circumstances of high school sports in uh, recent times. So, you know, congrats to Helena. And then um, an athlete, uh, I'm not embarrassed to say that I I did forget about because we haven't seen her in a long time uh, she was battling uh, she had a back injury that took her out last year um, I think she missed her whole tennis season or if not most of it uh, I remember I shot her a text to congratulate her mm -hmm. the other night um, but she did train her for a while um, and killed it uh, her name is Emma Muchnick she is a junior at Suffern High School she was just recently named uh, Rockland County Player of the Year. So congrats to Emma on that. Yeah, good job. Um, and then a uh, fellow friend of ours, uh, former coach of Destroyers in high school, uh, Proud Binoy, Bobby DeLeon, uh, Coach of the Year. So congrats, Bobby. Uh, fill yourself up on lechon and white rice tonight. Um, and then speaking of celebrating, you nice know. Nice ratio of protein, carbs, and fats there. Absolutely. Yeah. I like it. Yes. <laughs> and we know Bobby will definitely get his uh, fats from uh, serving of alcohol. But, um, <laughs> you know, unfortunately, it won't be in the in the regular drinking hole of his uh, Black Bear as that closed several down. So closed down several years ago, but they probably closed because he uh, always ran them dry of Jameson um, <laughs> and Jaeger bombs. Uh, so Stop bringing that up. No, <laughs> I will never, never not bring that up. So, uh yeah, and then how are we celebrating tonight? We're going to get some sushi, right? Yeah, I think so. Sushi I mean, from Wild Wasabi. Yeah. You celebrating anything tonight in the form of food? Uh, I think having leftover pizza after not having that for a couple weeks is a celebration yeah. in and of itself, honestly. Cold? Sometimes I go cold. Sometimes I have my own strategies on how to reheat it to get do it Do you like it right. crispy, or do you like it? Like, I think reheated, you got to go crispy. Like, you're never going to get back that like fresh pizza feels so how do you reheat it because i have my way too oh, go ahead yes. i go toaster oven that's the best way <laughs> the if best someone, way like, if someone microwaves it they're like a psychopath and yeah I trust you. yeah now when you order your pizza do you like it regular or well done 
Well, the the right pizza place you shouldn't have to specify. Yeah. They'll just get it. Mm-hmm. Okay. They'll, they'll cook it like a pizza. Mm-hmm. If you have to, if they're, you're at a place where you have to specify, you should go well done, just so you're not missing out on cheese that's just falling onto your plate. Mm-hmm. And I like how Desi used the... <laughs> the Italian. The Ita- yeah, we just had to, yep. That's feeling it out there. We know. Yeah. <laughs> living, living out your emojis. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, you know, not for anything we should write in, because they don't have one of those. <laughs> they were working on it, I know Did, that. Really? Yeah, they were working on it. I'm sending it to you, Desi. Yeah. I mean, we shouldn't be surprised though. Desi's We're last name like does end on. in a vowel, yeah. so this was uh, it was assumed he was gonna go there. Um, but you need the wrist flick. Yeah. Toast, toaster oven's <laughs> definitely where it's at. Yeah, I can't say when people like it they has want a pizza it. setting on it. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, or or like people will be yeah. like they'll they'll um they'll throw it right in the oven. And I'm like that's so much more air to heat up. Uh, yeah, just go toaster that's too oven. Long. That's too long to put into reheating pizza. You know, like, well, I want to do two slices. Like, most toaster ovens can fit two slices. And even if you're doing four, I'll throw in two. By the time I'm finishing the other two, guess what's yeah. ready? Mm. The Delicious. next two. Or you go cold with some sriracha on it. Oh, there you there go. There you go. That's its own thing. Nice. Especially if you're, like, kind of drunk. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. And kind of is a loose range. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, Yeah, I was going to say. What, hey. I'm a big crushed red pepper guy. That's good. I go for that. <laughs> so, um, fuck. Now I want pizza. Oh, you know, boy. I didn't get enough fat in my breakfast because I thought I was eating for an off day. I totally forgot that I was squatting today. Yeah. So I, I really could fit in pizza right now for lunch. I actually have time to stop and get some before my afternoon starts. Yum. For my online training clients. Yes. So, yeah, that's about it for this week's episode of Overdrive AF. Uh, we've done a full year of this and yes. uh, we appreciate everybody tuning in both uh, through Spotify and Apple and then uh, even on YouTube so um, yeah big shout out to Elliot Scharf our, I'd say he's probably our um, Overdrive AF super fan <laughs> I hear about it from our, our Nyack High School athletes too so uh, he talks about our show huh? yeah and then he'll be like <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm not even gonna embarrass him on his on the show about it. But uh yeah, thanks for tuning in, L Man, L Train. We have to get back into the uh the sponsors too, because I was thinking about that. I know. hmm We 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 really should be shouting out our sponsors weekly, so I apologize for dropping the ball on our great sponsors. Well, no, I mean we still show them up. I'm apologizing to them. I will not apologize to you about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I will pay for that's, that statement that's later. That's how it's going to be. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, tune in next week for another great episode of Overdrive AF, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side. <laughs>